Hello miners. Today we're going to take a look at how to do hoses, also known as a skid mesh. We're going to start with a blank blender file. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add three different meshes. One of them will be serving as our main frame and the other two will be serving as our axles, both front and rear. Now we have our three meshes, number three, which will be our main frame, and one and two, which are our axles. Our next step is to create some hoses. The way I prefer to do it is to add a plane to the file. We're going to set the size to 0.2 meters, and then we're going to convert this plane to a curve. I'm then going to add a bezier curve and place the opposing endpoints in the main frame and one of the axles. In the curve properties, I'm going to bevel the bezier curve with an object and I'm going to use the plane that we created to serve as a hose. At this point, we have a lovely square hose. I'm going to duplicate it a couple of times so that we have multiple hoses in our model. Now we can join all of our hose curves together and convert them to a mesh. Now we're left with a long rectangular tube that has multiple subdivisions. I'm now going to create a pair of materials so that we can easily visualize this when we import it into Giants Editor. We'll make the hoses a really dark brown. And the metal parts will make blue. It's time to create our armatures. The first step is to select one of our parts. Press Shift S. Cursor to select it and then we will create our armature. We're going to adjust the size so it's large enough to see, and then we're going to give it a name. We're going to call it metal part 001 underscore arm. Under Object Data Properties, we're going to name the armature part of this, Metal Part 001 underscore arm underscore arm. Under Brone Properties, we're going to name this Metal Part 001 underscore arm underscore bone. We now repeat the process for the rest of the armatures. Now 
Now that our armatures are named, we need to parent the hoses to each armature with an empty group. Select your hoses first, then the armature, hit Ctrl P to parent, and then armature deform with empty groups. Repeat this process for each of the armatures. Now select the hoses, hit Alt-P, and clear and keep transform, so that we end up with our three armatures, three metal parts, and hoses as parents. Our next step is to set weights. Select the hoses and press forward slash to solo the display on the hoses. Go to X-ray view, select vertices mode, and under the object data properties, you should see your three named bones. Select the bottom half of the hoses closest to the axle. Then we're going to add them to metal part 002 bone with a weight of one. Repeat this process for the other axle. Clear your selection and press the select button on the bone for both of the axles. Then press Ctrl I to select inverse and assign those vertices to the main part. Switch to weight paint mode, and we can see that our bones all have vertices in them. We're going to click Weights, Smooth, by all groups, and we're going to make it a nice smooth color curve. Then select Weights and Normalize All. Return to Object Mode so that we can parent the armatures appropriately. Select an armature and the metal object that it goes with. Press Ctrl P and Parent while keeping transformations. Repeat this process with the other two armatures. We can now remove the plane that we're no longer using. Select your collection. Press A to select all. Go to File, Export I3D, and Export the Active Collection. Navigate to your new I3D file and open it in Giants Editor. Selecting and moving one of the metal parts should cause the hoses to deform. If needed, you can add additional subdivisions in your hoses to smooth the curve. Thanks for watching.